Hello everybody, it's Blue, back from hiatus, finally, uh, with just this quick video. I still don't have a good editing software, but I have a few speed paints that I never did post. Uh, this one's really recent, um, the last picture I worked on. And I thought it would be fun to do a little voiceover instead of the usual music. So this piece is about the scorpion den. It's always been a place that I've kind of been interested in, like, scenery-wise. I always like to imagine the little tents and huts and everything. It's... I don't know. I thought it's a cool place. So when I figured I needed a place for background practice, I thought, why not the Scorpion Den? And, oh boy, I am not good at backgrounds. But, I mean, that's why we practice, right? So... Overall, I'm a little disappointed with this piece, just because the background did not turn out at all how I wanted it to. I do, however, really like how Sunny turned out. I did draw Sunny, and I don't know what's going on, but like, it looks a little different than my normal style, in my opinion, personally. But I really like it, so hopefully I can keep that up. Um... There was a little period of time where I didn't want to make the character Sunny because it's been forever since I've read the books and Sunny in the Scorpion Den is something I just have very vague memories of. Like, I know she went there, but I don't really remember, like, the exact stuff she did. But I figured, I mean, she's just walking down a street kind of like looking at stuff, so it should be fine. Uh, I drew three other dragons, oh, four other dragons, uh, in this picture as background characters because the scorpion den is supposed to be really crowded. I wish I had time for more, but I was kind of working on a deadline, and I wasn't really sure where to put the other ones. I didn't want to make it too crowded. The characters in the background are all OCs of other people. Uh, three of them belong to, uh, well... I, don't, I think one of them is his friends, but the other ones are Westies. He is my patron. So, obviously, he asked for background characters, like, if I needed any, and I said, yeah, so. I didn't even think about that. Like, I can put people's characters in the background of my drawings. So, that's f a fun idea. <laughs> the other uh, character belonged to Dragon Plaza, and that's the one kind of, like, facing away from... Uh, like, walking down the street, facing away. Um, so that's who all those characters are. Honestly, I have really mixed feelings about how this piece turned out. Because, again, I really like how Sunny is drawn and some of the other characters. Uh, you can kind of see me getting uh, lazier as I went on with the piece. Because I kind of was work like I said, was working on a deadline. So I wish I could have just kind of kept up the quality a little bit more. I also wish I could spend more time on the background because it just doesn't look good, but personally I really don't know how to make backgrounds look good in the first place. They're just not my thing and hopefully I can get better at them. That's on that's high on my list of stuff I need to improve. The colors are okay, I guess. I think it's got some pretty bland colors. They're pretty random. And I kind of wanted, like, a colorful market thing to be going on, but they're in the desert, so there's a lot of yellow, and then the sand wings blend in. And I could have really done better with the colors, too. Uh, looking at the piece, though, it kind of looks like one of those pictures in a I Spy book, you know? Where you have just all this stuff going on, you have to point out certain things. But it looks like it's missing those little things, I think. That's my problem with the background. Okay, I'm coming to the end of my little bit of recording time. Uh, let me know how you liked uh, the voiceover. It was really just me voicing my thoughts about the piece. Bye, guys.